good Thursday morning, start of a new week. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a busy week or not. We'll have to see what goes on, but let's get the day started. You are not a product. Okay, this is going to become like a rambling, probably, rant. Rambling, rant, whatever. But it's important to think about this. We have been selling ourselves like products. And then stores, companies, businesses, they're all treating us like products. We're telling them we are a product. Create your own brand. Don't do that. Be a person. You're a multifaceted person. You're like an ogre. You have layers. Or you're like an onion, who's like an ogre. You have layers. You are not a product. Uh, people always ask me about social media. Is social media bad? And I'm like, well, no, social media isn't bad as long as you aren't selling something. But you're saying, but you're selling something. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. I'm selling something, but I'm not selling myself. I'm selling something. Here's what's really interesting, is a lot of social media that you see, you think that they are being themselves. They're not. It's a curated social media. They go through hundreds of pictures so that they can give you this perfect selfie. And guess what? That doesn't exist. They are selling themselves so that they can sell something else so that they can then, you know, give you what you want. You're not a product. Uh, when you see all these companies who are going, well, we're going to be targeting for this group, for this whatever, that they're turning you into a product. You're not. You're not this product. You are your own person. You can do your own things in your own way. You don't have to follow. So you don't have to follow fashion trends. You don't have to follow uh, whatever trends. Be yourself. It is absolutely okay. And if nobody likes you for it, well, psh, okay. Somebody will. Somebody out there is right now saying, wow, that is the best person ever. Unless you really are a bad person, then they probably aren't. However, the big part about this is if you aren't being you, who, who are you being? Why are you being it? Uh, I look at my, because I can do this from my channel, from my uh, YouTube channel, is what you see on my YouTube channel is not 100% myself. What you see on this isn't 100% myself. This is what I want to show you. So basically, yes, I am selling myself. Am I selling myself on my social media? Yeah, I'm selling myself on my social media. But then probably you are too. Uh, you're probably trying to sell your happiness or your sadness or your joy, laughter, making yourself feel better, seem better, making more people want you. Oh, wait, are you seeing this? Instead of just sharing a moment socially, you know, hey, this is great, look, it's grass growing, here's an hour of footage of grass growing. No, no, you're selling an illusion of you. Is that horribly horrible? No, no, it's not really horribly horrible. Unless you're doing this just to gain something. Uh, why am I doing, why do I put these videos out? Well, because I get lonely. There's not a whole lot of people to talk to. So I talk to you. Uh, you'll notice that if I'm having a bad week, you'll see that the videos are much, much shorter because I don't want to talk to anybody. And that's okay. If you are going through a rough period of time, it's okay. Some people use social media to reach out to other people and, oh wait, that's what social media is all about, isn't it? It's all about being social, not selling or buying a product. One of the worst things that you can possibly do is buy a product from social media. Buy a product from a store. It doesn't even have to be a brick and mortar store. It needs to be a store, not off of social media. Uh, you can hear people talk about the social media, and I find it more genuine when people talk about the social media that they actually like. Uh, the products that you will not see me do anymore is talk about a product that I don't really actually use. Um, and that's become an issue because I've had lots of people want to send me products so that I can do videos for them, but I don't use them. I use my KitchenAid, I use my Cuisinart, I use my Blender. Uh, I've done those videos. I use my toaster. It's not the greatest toaster, but it is a good toaster. I do like my toaster. I am going to do a video on that. But, I mean, be yourself. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to have rough edges. It's okay to have bad times. It's okay to just sit there and be like, oh, you know what I did? I ate popcorn and bonbons and cried in a pillow for two hours. Okay. 
that's all right. And if people are like, well, I don't want to see your sad post, well, that's your problem, not my problem. There are reasons that people post sad posts, because they're trying to sell something so that they can get a response from you, which is usually they, they need your attention. So, so sometimes you have to give it to them. Like, I don't know, where is this going? Because I am not a psychologist. I am not this guru of all things. I'm just me. And I want you to be just you. And that's where my channel comes in, is the fact that I'm teaching people how to do things on their own, how to make stuff on their own, so that they can be themselves and not rely on social media to tell them what's best and what's most fashion and what's most edgy. Why do you want to be edgy? Why is that important? Are you trying to gather, gain friendship, gain whatever from people? Because, bleh, bleh. I mean, if somebody likes you, they're going to like you. If they like you for your clothing, mm, are those the friends you want to have? I have friends who, when we get together, I could not tell you what they were actually wearing, because I have no idea. None, whatsoever. Um, if I do notice something that they're wearing, it's because I actually liked it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like my friends. I mean, like, I honestly really like my friends, and I would love to spend more time with my friends. Because they're my friends. I have a friend who's not even on social media, and it drives me crazy because that's, like, sometimes the only way I can spend time with my friend is on social media. And trying to get this friend to understand that is really, really hard because this friend looks at social media as this giant selling place. So maybe that's what this whole rant is about. I'm trying to actually reach out to my friend and say, hey, not everybody on social media is selling something. Maybe it's not. But it's really important that you are you. Don't worry about what other people are doing on social media. If you want to post it, post it. You don't want to post it, don't post it. If somebody has something which you think is incredibly stupid, ask yourself, what is the point of you responding to it? Hmm? Oh, you're not going to change their mind? Or are you hoping that insulting them is going to change their mind? And it, no. Mm -mm. No. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, our social media has been hijacked by businesses. I'm part of the problem. I'm trying to do better, but I really do have to get myself out there or else I can't make money and then I'll probably starve. So that would be bad. But, um, yeah, be you. If selling yourself on social media is what you want to do, then sell yourself whole way. If not, then just share what you want to share. Don't worry about it. Don't curate things just for the sake of curating things. Just go out there and have lots of fun. That's all I can do. Right now, I am cleaning my house. In your wedding, well, why don't you show yourself cleaning your house? Because it's boring. I have a friend who does this really good channel of, she does speed cleaning. I actually like her channel. I like her channel a lot because I think her house is interesting. I don't know how she presents it so that it is interesting, but it's not me. She's really good at it. I like it. But it, it isn't me. I tried it. I really did. I tried to do one of those speed cleaning things, and I just am not good at this. So, yeah, wasn't being me. Uh, I'm being me. Being me in all my videos of what I like to do. You be you. Don't worry about other things. Like I said, this was just a ramble. <sighs> I don't know. Well, it's Friday morning. Well, it's swear that it's good. We had somewhat of an issue last night. It seems that, well, it is that doesn't seem. Uh, when I was taking Faith back over to Mom's, uh, Faith ran over to a bucket that had some plants in it. And I was wondering why. I turned on the light, and it turns out that the plants are hosta. If you know about hosta and dogs, hosta is poisonous to dogs. Um, true, we don't know if she ate any. I can't tell. Uh, so we are keeping an eye on her. I have not been over yet this morning. Uh, then it just became this whole big issue that spiraled out of hand. But yeah, it's just one of those moments where my thought on this is before you give anything to anybody, do some research on it to find out if it's good for what they have or if there are some problems it could have. And before you take anything from anybody, 
do some research on it to find out if it's dangerous to what you have. Interestingly enough, which I didn't even know this was possible, uh, either there was something sprayed on the hosta or I am allergic to hosta because I also broke out with a rash from the hosta. Yeah. So it is what it is, so the morning's not going real great. Yeah. I will readily admit that there are times when I never want to leave my house, when I just do not want to be bothered with people. Uh, seeing people digitally is fine with me, simply because there are just some times when I just get, you know, I just don't want to be around people. And I know what's bad about that is that they can escalate and become times when I just absolutely, you know, it'll go on and on and on and on. Now, that being said, it's not 100% true. Because there, are, even though I don't want to be around people, I want to be around people, but in a superficial kind of way. Being around people, going to the store, even though that's not going out realistically because you're not actually interacting with people, it's still going out. So completely isolating myself, even though I talk about that a lot, doesn't actually happen because, yes, even though I consider it not really going out, I do go to the store and that sort of thing. But, um, hmm. It's just really weird. Like, right now, I'm still sort of ticked off about the whole hostas incident. Um, but, uh, I know I have to go to the store today because it would be really easy for me to just lock myself up in my house and just not talk to anybody. That's not going to happen. So, it can't happen. It's just bad. So, um,. I get myself out there, and it's not even like I'm really forcing myself to go out there. The forcing myself to do is to actually let people over into my house. Oddly enough, and I think the people who know me know this, there are very few people who have actually been over to my house in more of a one-on-one -on -one setting. I've had people over to my house for, like, a cast party, and that's really, you know, kind of... you're not really interacting that sort of that sort of much but to have like small groups and just one on one those people there's probably less than 10 people who that have, who that has actually happened with in like 8 or 10 years that's like one person a year yeah so yeah when i hear people talk about well i'm a really private person that means you know realistically are you are you not i don't know uh, am I really a private person? Kind of, sort of, not 100%. But the whole big thing is to get into the inner sanctum, uh, take something. To come over for a cast party? Pfft, no. However, I haven't been in a show in forever, so that's not really an issue. But to actually get into the inner sanctum when it's just me, you, maybe one or, other, one or two other people, that takes a lot. Okay, this is literally seconds after that last video. Uh, I was thinking about what I said about, you know, people coming over, getting into the inner sanctum. Do you realize that you are actually in the inner sanctum? You actually see me more than most people who I know see me. You see me every week for 8 to 15 minutes long. Um, you probably know more about me than a lot of people who I actually know. So that's sort of interesting. It's sort of weird to think that out there that there are people who I've never met who know more about me than people who I've known for years and years and years. And I talk to them more than I talk to the people who I've known for years and years and years. Yes, yeah, some of you I've actually interacted with, talked to. That's pretty cool. But it's also pretty sad that the people who I've known all this time haven't done that whole much to, to reach out yet on my part, which is my part, I haven't reached out that much either. So, what I'm saying to you is maybe you should reach out too to other people and see how they're doing. Uh, I have, like I said, I have a friend who thinks that social media is evil and bad. I don't. I think social media gives us a way to reach out to people who we normally wouldn't talk to. So, let's try it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Or let's think about it for a while. At least it's in our minds. Okay, so the official word on Faith is she is fine. It's been 24 hours, so yeah. She's doing well. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can probably see that. I am not all broke out anymore. I don't know if I ever showed you that, but I was broken out. Broken out, broke out, whatever. That was a problem. Um, so, 
<sighs> I don't know. It's been that day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's evening. It's cool. I'm going to sleep with my bedroom windows open because it is cool. Life is actually pretty good right now. I'm almost frightened to say that. That terrifies me because something will screw it up now. Okay, good. Saturday morning it is a sunny day. Uh, I'm going to try to get out and do some things. We'll see how the day goes. But we are up. We are moving. Okay, so the, ta the day just went downhill really quickly. Uh, I've talked about the slip before, and yes, it is slipping. So they've decided they need to put up a fence. That's the fence they put up. And you're like, well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, that's the view now from my house. Yep, the view is of the f orange fence. And since the, nobody really knows who owns the property, it could be there for a long time. It could take a long time to fix the slip. So that's what I'll probably be viewing for the rest of the time that I'm here. Everything on the back side of that can no longer be cut, which means it will have weeds growing up in there. What's interesting is the people who are responsible for this are not taking any responsibility for it. Oh, dear God. All I can say is, if you ever move somewhere, don't go to a condo. Know that for certain. Condos are horrible. Um, so yeah, got to figure out what to do now. I know, you're probably thinking that it's early morning. It's not. It's late at night. Well, it's not late at night. It's like 11 o'clock. But uh, we went to see Endgame tonight, Avengers Endgame. I thought it was pretty good, but I didn't think it was great. However, I am looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because with the addition of Thor to it, I think that will be amazing. Um, let's see what else happened today. Of course, uh, my best friend was up. That's who we went to see the movie with. And we went to see it with another friend of ours and his daughter. And it was just a great time. I had a really good time. Uh, it's getting cold outside, and it, like I said, it's like 11 o'clock at night, but I thought I'd check in because I haven't really done anything all to all that much today. Oh, what else happened today? It, it was just a nice day to just relax and do things and watch TV. I watched Chris Titus's uh, special on Netflix. Well, we watched Chris Titus's special on Netflix. That was sort of cool because he is a comedian that makes you think about politics. Yeah, it was his political special. Really liked that. Other than that, nope. Nope, and I'm tired, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. But... What am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing tomorrow? I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I know that Monday is a filming day, however, it's an all talking heads filming day. So it'll just be me sitting right over there talking, so that'll be fun. You know you're tired when you, the very thing that I actually got on here to talk about is the very thing I forgot to talk about. What I got on here to talk about is the fact that with the bullet journal, I seem to be able to do things that I don't think that I'd be able to do. Um, one of the reasons, one of the things I'm talking about is like today, before I went to see Endgame, I didn't drink a lot of water because Endgame was three hours long. Three. Three hours long. Uh, so I didn't want to have to get up and go to the bathroom during it, and, uh, so it was like eight o'clock when we got back here, and, um, yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. But I normally get my eight at glasses of water, so between that time of eight o'clock till now, I've got my eight glasses of water, and I'll probably be up all night going to the bathroom. But the nice thing about this is how do I can keep track of everything, get everything that I need to get done done, simply because of this whole um, bullet journal, which is sitting right over there. Uh, which helps me keep track of what's going on in my life, how I can do things, and also gives me a way of seeing what successes that I've had, even if they're little successes before, which shows me, yes, I can do this, I can do all of this. So yeah, that's one of the reasons I really do like bullet journaling. Okay, now it's Sunday morning. Uh, it is about 7.30, I'm up, not a whole lot to do today, but we'll see how the day goes. Okay. So, while I am still annoyed about the whole fence, I do understand why it's there. So that people do not plunge to their death by walking close to the hill. Uh, it really needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed fast. There are places which are for sale up here. 
and for rent and sale and rent and so that's going to be really hard to do anything with because well yeah sheer drop of death I mean they still have no answers of how they're going to fix it yet uh, and it's just horrible looking out this out, out of my window as I've said before it just looks awful and I don't know I mean, it's hard to be up optimistic about this when I hate it being here to begin with. Now I hate it even more. So, yeah. Yeah. And now the possibility of actually selling it is really low right now. And the possibility of actually renting it so you can do something else is even lower. <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with. But at least my plants are coming up right now. I need to weed, I do know. And uh, right now, as we speak, there are no carpenter bees on the porch, which is a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. I did kick in and put in the heat today because it got super cold. Super cold. But other than that, I haven't really done much. But yeah, still, like, the whole fence thing is just annoying the heck out of me. Alright, this is way later than what I wanted it to be to start this, but good morning! It's Monday morning, it is a filming day, and I'm sort of changing up where I'm filming to do my talking head spot. I have a space right over here, but to do this I'm going to have to rearrange that space, so I should probably do that first. But yeah, let's get started, it's going to be a good day. Okay, so I just recorded the videos, and now I'm going to edit them, but I wanted to jump on here real quick to talk about this, uh, DIY Facebook group and they were they did this whole thing about how the tampon applicators are the most the most the the ocean is polluted most with them and I'm I even just saying that reading that I'm like what happened to straws I thought straws were horrible but obviously straws are not horrible simply because there are more tampon applicators that are polluting the oceans than straws and bags. And so I, I put it on there, I'm like, how is that even possible? I looked it up, the average family uses six straws per day, average family. So then when you add in the straws and you add in plastic bags, plastic forks and all that stuff, I personally find that this is just a way of shaming women. They have, like the previous day they did an article about how bad plastic bottles were and how only 17% of them were being made, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense whatsoever. I have personally, and I even wrote this on the Facebook group, I'm like, I personally look at this as if it's a way to shame women into you're doing things bad and obviously men are doing things great because they don't have that problem. It's not their fault that the world's oceans are being polluted. Well, no. No. When you when they do these things, they're just literally putting out anything to make people feel guilty. Yeah. And that's even saying that, and it's even saying that, you know, all these, all these uh, places that everybody uses tampons, they don't. There are all sorts of other things that they can use. They're, they're, and I mean, it just, this just drives me absolutely crazy. I'm only, it's, it's like they just literally sit there going, I'm only going to use the facts that I need to use today. That's it. That's the only reason. I'm only going to use these facts for this one thing that I saw one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well, well, let's get back to editing so I can get this done. Okay, videos are edited. They're done. They're uploading right now as we speak. And that's a good thing, which makes me very, very happy, which means uh, it's not even 2 o'clock yet, and I am almost done with everything I need to do today. Hooray! Tomorrow will be closed captioning, so that's good, and also grocery store. But right now, life is really good. We're, we're happy that things are almost done. Good Tuesday morning. Well, at least it is morning. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but once again, we don't have water. Yep, that's right. No water again. <sighs> this is going to be a long day. So I went out to see where the water line break was, and it's in the same exact spot it was before. Every time. Same spot. When will the city learn? 
This is driving me crazy. And I mean absolutely crazy. Same spot. Uh, I'm glad I've been filling up those water jugs so that that way we have water. I took two over to mom. Uh, I think one of the things that we've seriously forgotten to teach people is how to be nice and when to be nice. Uh, being nice is holding the door open for somebody. Cool. Not being nice is we have a roundabout in this town. There are people who will stop when they're in the roundabout to let the other car go through. No, that's not being nice. It's being an idiot. We don't know when to be nice, when to not be nice, and everybody seems to be like just going for themselves. Me, me, me. I want to get back to being nice again. The other interesting thing is I've been looking at a lot of these uh, click and buy or click it and I don't grab it or something where you can buy your groceries that way. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's just so lazy and irresponsible. Well, no, I don't know your schedule. If you like using that service, good for you. That's really cool. If you don't like using that service, good for you. That's really cool. Don't judge other people on these things. Uh, will I use it? No, no. You really don't know. I don't mind going grocery shopping most of the time because I go at weird hours and nobody's there. But I don't know. No, I did not spend the entire night here. Good Wednesday. Uh, it is early in the morning. I just didn't stand my camera back up. Uh, it is going to be a nice day. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to clean today or if I'm not going to clean. We have to see. Um, no big plans. So, yeah, let's go. Do you ever get to the point where you're certain that you're wasting your time trying to argue with somebody? I got to that point a couple times today. Uh, one person, they were arguing about the whole, is it right to kick out somebody who, uh, from your business, who has beliefs that are against what you believe in? And I'm like, you know, it's just one step away from, you know, bad things. I'm like, no, 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 this is completely different. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Because that's when it's just like, nope, I can't help you. Because you will believe what you want to believe. And once you make that one step, it is really easy to make the ne next step. So that's always something to be careful of. When you decide that you're going to do something which could be bad or good, you have to think about what the next step is. Is the next step even worth it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I sometimes worry about where our world is heading simply because people don't think about that next step. Things are not all bad. I, I hate to tell people this. Some things are actually pretty good, but we aren't going to hear about them because, well, you know, it's not fun to hear about good stuff. It's fun to hear about the bad stuff. I don't know. There are always going to be those who see the glass as half full, half empty, or there's something disgusting in the glass. You can't choose. It's their glass. They decide what it is, how full it is, how empty it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the thing to remember is I've always said, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, and there's nothing more dangerous than a justified man. If people think that they are doing the right thing, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing the right thing. It just means that they think they're doing the right thing. And your right thing might not be somebody else's right thing. I mean, it truly, truly, truly worries me when people are all getting upset about the fact that, you know, Everybody thinks that it, it, it people do evil for the sake of evil. I honestly believe that there are very few occasions where people do evil things for the sake of evil. No, they do evil things because they had the intentions of doing the right thing, the good thing, and it just got morphed into something which is just truly horrendous. They thought that they were doing something to protect, or to, or they justified their actions through some sort of anything, that it ended up being truly evil. So yeah, that, that worries me. That worries the heck out of me. Okay, so it's the end of the day, it's the end of the week. I hope everybody's had a great week, it's been an interesting week. Uh, not much has happened today, just did a whole bunch of cleaning. I don't know. If, yeah, I mean, it's sort of dull.
but I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time. <laughs>